Yo, 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 what's up, guys? It's your boy, Asian Mix. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're not, today we're going to be covering some Stadia content. We're going to be covering the Capcom Data Leak, some Gen 2 Stadia stuff, and some Cyberpunk stuff, all on the Stadia Versary. The Stadia Anniversary. So if you enjoy the content that you're watching right now, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So starting with the Capcom Data Leak. Um, if you didn't know, a few days ago, really earlier this week, there was a huge Capcom Data Leak. And in this leak, we found some Stadia information in it as well. So we found in this leak, of course, take it with a grain of salt because this isn't confirmed. Though some of the stuff in this Data Leak was confirmed by Capcom. So some of it, you know, some other things that weren't confirmed could be true. But we found that Stadia paid Capcom $10 million to secure Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil village onto the platform of course take it with a grain of salt but we do know capcom is partnered with stadia so this could be true um also there was another game that was leaked um in this uh leak and it was um uh, i was about to say something else <laughs> monster hunter endless this game hasn't been announced uh from what i understand but you know monster hunter endless looks like it's a game that's going to be coming in 2022 to stadia pc and the next gen consoles so that's something that's pretty interesting and could be true and of course you know take it with a grain of salt but it could be true also in these leaks uh we found the uh possible release date for um uh, resident evil village and that could be april 2021 so of course take it with a grain of salt but some of that stuff could be true next up on the gen 2 stadia stuff so a podcast by the name of podcast stadia it's a spanish uh, stadia cop podcast and um they actually interviewed the core development team and one of the developers on this podcast uh, of course it's roughly translated but they pretty much confirmed the existence of Gen 2 Stadia Blades. Of course, we've had we've heard murmurings of you know Gen 2 Stadia Blades being a thing for uh, quite quite a while now uh, in the Stadia community. But uh, in this interview uh, on the podcast, uh, the developer pretty much confirmed that yeah, Gen 2 Stadia Blades are out here, and um, it's a they are at least equal, if not surpass, the next gen consoles, the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. So that's pretty interesting, and um, of course. Taken with a grain of salt in a, in a way we if they're confirming it yeah more than likely is true but of course you know chill you know take it and you know just kind of hold it because um you know this information isn't confirmed and don't go around doing any tests yet because obviously the gen 2 blades aren't you know out there yet and you know nobody's really using them as far as the the community or the uh, stated game is right so of course take with the game a grain of salt but you know yeah this could be true and i think it's i think it's it, it, it probably is and that's pretty interesting information now on to the next, of course, on our Cyberpunk news, if you didn't know the Night City Wire episode 5 is today, and also I'm going to make you a little sad, Cyberpunk 2077 was supposed to launch today, <laughs> but the Night City Wire is today, and also uh, in the, in the you know, the bubble of Cyberpunk news that we got today. So uh, one of the Stadia users, um, or uh, I guess, on, I think it was on Reddit, but uh, one of the Stadia users on, on Reddit posted a screenshot and... Um, you know, it was them talking to a Google Stadia uh, Italy support um, member on that team, and they pretty much were inquiring about Cyberpunk 2077, because if you didn't know earlier today, Cyberpunk 2077, you know, you couldn't pre-order for a minute, and a lot of people were thinking it was probably because the game, you know, was supposed to launch today, and it was probably going to, you know, release any version of it was going to release, uh, but, you know, that could be a possibility, but really, you couldn't pre-order the game, right? But he reached out, and uh, this Google, I was about to say, I don't know what I was saying. Anyway, Google, <laughs> this Google uh, Stadia team member pretty much said, um, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, um, they're offering a promotion where um, if you pre-order Cyberpunk 2077 before December 18th, uh, you can get a Stadia Premier Edition bundle. Um, of course, while supplies last, but um, you can get that. So I think that's pretty interesting. And I'm just thinking about it in my head. I just said Google. I don't even know what that is, but Google. <laughs> but um, yeah, you can you can get yourself a Premiere Edition. I thought that was pretty interesting. Of course, this isn't confirmed technically, uh, though this is from a team member. Um, this isn't confirmed yet. They haven't announced this, but it could be true. And on to the last bit of news before I end it. Uh, we did get a little bit of Stadia anniversary stuff. They showed us, a, they gave us a message. You know, I just uh, checked Twitter. They said the community blog was up. Uh, this is pretty much the first of news or probably all the news we're going to get. They really have given us a lot of stadia stuff this week already so don't expect too much from uh you know stadia today um but they did drop us a nice little one year anniversary message i'm gonna put on screen right now and uh yeah that's pretty dope happy you know one year stadia anniversary everybody it's been a, one hell of a year i've enjoyed it it's been fun and with that i'm gonna end the video off here make sure you like comment subscribe if you enjoyed it and uh two things i will be appearing on stadia source at the round table uh tonight at 5 p.m um i'll be appearing with the round table and a few other content creators we're going to be talking about all the anniversary stuff if we get any more stuff today and really all the stuff we've gotten all week from stadia so uh make sure you come through it starts at five o'clock but i will be on there at 5 30 so definitely come through and that's eastern time uh you know for the uh for me appearing on stadia source so yeah and that's that and then the second thing 
Stadium Super Saturday is this weekend. Of course, it's two days this time, Saturday and Sunday, so technically it's Stadium Super Weekend in a way. <laughs> but I will be uh, streaming on Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, and I'll be playing some competitive games. We're talking grid, you know, we'll, we'll play grid. I'm trying to think of some other games. Super Rockman R Online, <laughs> Mortal Kombat 11, things like that. Uh, we'll be playing that, and also, um, I have a giveaway going on, so go to the link in the description, you can go find the link for the giveaway, and you can enter to win a three month Stadia Pro code, uh, that will give you three months of Stadia Pro for free, just enter the giveaway in the description, and uh, yeah, with that being said, catch you guys later on the flip side, it's your boy Mix. peace. Thank you.